Just this offseason, it was confirmed that the Seattle Kraken will be the 32nd franchise in the NHL. Just a few years prior, we seen the Vegas Golden Knights be the 31st team to be announced into the NHL. And they had a storybook start to their tenure in the NHL. We seen them make it to the Stanley Cup Finals in their first ever season as a team. They were coined the team of misfits because they are players that nobody else really wanted. They were left unprotected. But with today's NHL, with the speed and skill that so many players have, you can see a lot of these depth guys can turn around and be star guys elsewhere. While the Vegas Golden Knights made it to the Stanley Cup Final, we're still undecided on how to feel about the Seattle Kraken. While there is a possibility that they could have the same fate as the Vegas Golden Knights, there's also an equal possibility that they can be the worst team in the league. And so then I was left with the simple question, would it be possible for an expansion team to win the Stanley Cup in just their first year of competition? So before I get this expansion draft underway, there is one rule that I want to make clear. Now I know how you fucking guys be. Listen, I know how you guys are, man. You guys go into GM mode and you start trading all your first round picks from fucking 10 years down the line for like Jack Eichel. Well, here in this instance, we are not going to be doing that. All right, we are going to be making trades that make sense from a real life perspective. So it has to be a realistic trade. I can't just trade fucking picks from 10 years down the line for Jack Eichel and the fucking Bad News Bears. So I do think it's important to keep the base team together because it makes it a little bit more realistic. Like in real life, we would not be trading for those kind of guys. So let's hop right into it. Let's get into our first attempt. I'm guessing there's going to be multiple attempts to this, but uh, I'll show you guys a team here in a minute that I get from the expansion draft. Here is the roster, fellas. We got plus three chemistry on the first three lines, then nothing on the fourth line. But here's our first line. We got Nick Ritchie, Anthony Sorelli, and Jordan Cairo. Second line is Chris Kreider, Joe Thornton, and Bobby Ryan. Third line is Eric Stahl, Jeff Carter, Patrick Hornquist. The fourth line is Anthony Beauvillier, Ryan Johansson, and Connor Brown. This team has a little bit of everything. I mean, we have snipers, playmakers, two-way forwards, and I mean, Anthony Sorelli can turn out to be a first-line center for us. Oh, I just want to kiss Jeff Carter. It's so fucking sexy. And then we have a plus five chemistry on the first line with Josh Manson and Brent Burns. Brent Burns don't play no defense, but that's why we got Josh Manson there. Second line is Sammy Vatnin and Tyson Berry. They get the plus one chemistry, but they're both great overalls. Third line defense, this is utterly ridiculous. Uh, Mark Giordano and Devon Taves. I mean, an 86 and an 83 with the plus three chemistry on the third pair. That's fucking gross. In the cage, we got 85 overall, Darcy Kemper. Hopefully he can lock it down. Aaron Dell is backing him up. Some of the players that are scratched are just Shane Gostaspear or Jake Bean. Now, I'm I'm debating what I want to do with Shane Gostaspear because 80, 83 overall is a good value for a defenseman, especially an offensive defenseman. So, uh, if you've been a fan of my videos for a while now, you you know the love-hate relationship I have with Ryan Getzlaff. This bald, big-eared fucker is just, he, he lives rent-free in my head consistently. But I honestly don't think it's a bad idea to trade Shane Goss this beer for Ryan Getzlaff. He's on a one-year deal in... They're pretty similar in trade value. We're not using Goss to Spear, and Ryan Getzlap is a great overall. And the Ducks are not really a playoff team. They won't really be. And I mean, they could use a young guy like Shane Goss to Spear. And the trade was accepted. Let's fucking go! Guys, it, 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 it's only right for me to do this. It's only right for me to make the GOAT the captain. Fellas, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of have to take a little pee break. I'll be right back. Why do I always have to pee? I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Oh my god. Had to fucking water the hose. Jesus, the one-eyed snake was kicking. All right, so I'm scared about how this season's gonna go. We do have really good chemistry with our lines. Um, adding Ryan Getzlaff in that first line keeps it at a plus three. We move Nick Ritchie down to the fourth line. 
but um i'm interested to see how this season goes i want to i want to sim a little bit and see what happens i want to see where our record is within like the first 10 to 15 games and see this is also another reason why it was good to get ryan gets left so now Anthony Sorelli got hurt. We had to we had to fix him in there. We got Ryan Getzlaff as our first line center. I just moved Connor Brown on the wing. I could really go in depth, but I think it's just easier to do it that way. Let's sim forward. We're three and one, so we're a good start to the year. Don't offer me fucking Evander broke ass Evander Kane. How is he even making seven million? He's in fucking debt, dude. And there goes Joe Thornton with a mild concussion. Is the whole team gonna get mild concussions? You old he's old as fucking dirt. Why is why are people hitting him like this? Actually, we'll throw Eric Stahl. There we go. We get the plus threes working now. Eric Stahl. Yo, Eric Stahl's the fucking second line throat goat. Uh, we've had some injury injury issues here to start the year. Hopefully, we can get that out of the way. And Brent Burns has got, yeah, a sore foot, dude. Like, you're, is, is Brent Burns a pussy? Is he a pussy? So we're nine and five now. I'm just going to try to simulate to the fucking trade deadline because these injuries are absolutely fucking killing me, man. I just wish I could fucking be like Tampa Bay and just go over the cap. That would be fucking sick. And Brent, dude, Brent Burns is going to play like fucking two games this year, dude. Fuck it. I'm just keeping Jake Bean on the fucking first line. I might as well. I, re I really might as well. Oh, and there goes Joe Thornton with his weak ass, old ass knees. I mean, you should see the pain I'm going through with these injuries right now. Our team is fucking injury riddled. Sammy Vatnin, another mild concussion. That is three. Is Brent Burns not back yet? Oh, this ain't good. Oh, this ain't good. Um, so we're gonna have to put Brad Hunt. Brad fucking Hunt in the lineup. Woo! Jeff Carter gets me the plus five chemistry. Brent Burns is playing next game. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Dude, Brent Burns can't stay healthy. Are you fucking kidding me? He fractured his jaw twice. He literally just fractured it, came back, and fucking fractured it again. Dude's jaw is just hanging off the side of his fucking mouth. Because fucking Tyson Berry's injured anyway. Woo, yeah, Tyson Berry! Woo, you fucking asshole. Brad Hunt, right back in the lineup. Thanks, Brad Hunt. Oh my god, Tyson Berry. Like, it's the same people, man. Thank god. Brent Burns is back. We get our star D-man back. That should be good. Brent Burns fractured his jaw again. I swear, I, dude, I swear, you can't make this shit up. I swear to god, you cannot make this shit up, dude. This is the, the shit that only happens to me because the fucking world and EA Sports just fucking hates me to death. At the trade deadline, let's take a look at our stats. We're first in the central. We're first in the fucking central. Ryan fucking gets left. I knew doing this would be the throat goat move. I knew it, guys. I fucking knew trading for Ryan gets left was the move. Brent Burns has 46 points in, in fucking 37 games. He's been electric when he's been here. It's just the problem is that he's never fucking here because he keeps breaking his fat ass jaw. But but Ryan gets left's the fucking goat. Look at him. Oh my god, I just want to kiss him on his bald head. Our goalies. Oh, Darcy Kemper's having a great year. 9-10 save percentage. Good stuff. So this looks like a trade we might want to do. Connor Brown really hasn't been able to find a place in our lineup. But if we get a guy like Rana, I mean, he's a great fit on the second line and he's a sniper. He might get us the plus five on the second line. Plus, we're giving them a first round pick back and... Detroit really isn't in a position to win this year. So unloading a player like that and taking on a contract like Connor Brown really does make sense for Detroit here. And they're going to accept it. So we'll take that. And I think that's going to be all we're going to do here for this trade deadline. Because, I mean, giving up our first round pick whenever you're in a winning season, it kind of makes sense. Um, we're we're going to make the push for the playoffs here. And also, not to mention, I didn't even think about this, but Verona should help out on the power play as well. Okay, let's let's get a good end to the year here, though. Tyson Berry's back, baby. Tyson Berry is back. It don't matter. It don't matter. I was about to say we could call up Joe Thor. And nah, nah, it really don't matter. He's gone. He, he, I can't deal with this fucking guy, man. He's injury prone. I, oh my god, man. So we pick up 48 wins. So we're at the end of the year. Um, we finished first in the division, I believe. Yes, we did 103 points, and the Avalanche finished with 79. They were literally the worst team in our division, the Avalanche. They were awful. I don't understand how with that stacked-ass roster, but the Kraken will take it because we don't want to play them in the first round, that's for sure. And the GOAT was our leading point scorer. God, he, dude, he really is one sexy motherfucker.
Like, look at this. Tyson Berry only managed to play 38 games the whole year. And when he was here, he was awful. Because of injuries, Jake Bean managed to play 59 fucking games this year. All right, now let's get into it. Let's hop into the playoff run. It would be a tragedy if, yeah, we're going to lose in round one, aren't we? It, it, it. Shout out to Ryan Getzlaff for getting a goal. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now let's go to game two. All right. Okay. Jakob Rana just blew up that game. We will take that 4-3 overtime win, but you guys are making this hard on my soul right now. We cannot lose. All right. 5 nothing win. Jakob Rana is proven to be that. You're that guy, pal. You're absolutely that guy. All right. Okay. 2-2 two -two series. No need to hit the panic button yet here, though. No need to hit the panic button. Yes. Yes. A game five victory from the fellas. Game six and their building. Let's fucking go, Verona. Yes. We're going on to round two. Round two against the St. Louis Blues. Let's see what happens. A 3-1 victory. Verona plays great again. Game two and 5-1 victory. The St. Louis Blues. We take both games in our Barn. Bow! We take a 3-0 lead! We look like the fucking Tampa Bay Lightning! They can't they can't handle us. They can't handle us. Okay. Alright, Jordan Cairo. We lost 5-3, but it's alright. It's alright. We still have three more chances at this. No. This can't happen. If I get reverse swept, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. No! No! If we get reverse swept, I, I don't even know what to say, fellas. I really don't. No, oh, not Ryan O'Reilly. Where's Ryan Getzlaff? Where is he? Yes! Ryan Getzlaff! Let's go! I knew you'd come through! The shots are 48-15. We're going to overtime. I need a second to breathe, guys. Hold on. I'm scared. I'm, I'm very, very, very scared right now. He's going! Ren Burns! It took only 50 shots! Only 50 to beat Jordan Bennington! Thank you, you know. I, I mean, they only took 15 shots on us. That game was really fucking scary. We dominated the shit out of them, but we almost lost to the conference finals against the other expansion team, the Vegas Golden Knights. Oh my, it hurts to lose those 6-5 games. Oh no, we took two L's. We took two L's. This is a huge game here, fellas. This is a huge game, because if we lose here, I don't know what to say. Yeah, it, it, it's wraps. I mean, it, we're done. We're, we're fucking done. Unless we pull off what fucking... What the Blues did to us times ten. Evander Kane scores, of course. We wouldn't take him the whole year, and then Vegas said we'll take him, and he fucking scores against it. Brent Burnson, fuck you! Ryan Johansson, I knew you'd come through. I knew taking that $8 million contract would be a risk, but I knew you'd come through for me. I knew it. Two minutes, one minute. We got it. Darcy Kemper holds it down. All right, all right. Only three more games we need to steal here. Only three more. What are the chances of us coming back to reverse sweep these guys? Jeff Carter. Jeff Carter. Penguins legend. Brent Burns. Yes. Talk to him, Brent Burns. Talk to him. Yakov Rana. My deadline acquisition. We get another power play. Anthony Sorelli. We're up 4 nothing, boys. Don't blow it. Just don't blow it. Oh, Alec Martinez strikes for them. Mark Stone. No, we can't let this happen. Come on, Darcy Kemper. They're, they're, they've taken over the game here. Shots wise, they really have. Darcy Kemper, just hold us in. Ryan gets left, gets the empty net, you fucking bald beauty. Okay, we just need two guys, just two more games. That's all you gotta do is win two in a row here. And they get a shorthanded goal. Cody Glass just scored a fucking shorthanded goal on you guys. Yeah, there we go, Brent Burns. Put that right back in his fucking mouth. No, Matthias Yanmark and Evander Kane, man. Of course, this guy would be the fucking. Jakob Rana said, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. We're coming back. Patrick Hornquist! I haven't seen him! Oh my god, thank you for showing up. Ryan get dude. Big time moment, Ryan gets left. Burn, burn. Let's go, boys! Darcy Kemper, come on. You had a rough start. Coach kept you in there. He keeps you composed. You come on. No, Darcy. I was just talking good about you. We gotta hold on, fellas. We gotta hold on. An extra goal, an extra goal here would be nice, guys. I'm like on the edge of my seat. I'm so fucking scared. And we get the victory. 
Oh my goodness. Wow. Just one more game. One more game. That's all we need to do. Just win one game. That's it. They score in their first shot. We get a power play goal from Ryan Gets. He gets two. He scored two of them bad boys. Like Anthony Sorelli gets a power play goal for us. We have three power play goals so far this game. Anthony Sorelli, two goal. Oh, oh God. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This one might not be over. They might make a push here. They might make a push. Four. Three, two, one. And here we are in the crack house for this game. And look at those Seattle jerseys, man. I thought I did a pretty good job. You know, yeah, I, I, I guess you could say that. The reverse sweep on the Vegas Golden Knights in the... Go oh, Brett Burns lights him up! Oh, he's not fucking around, Jordan Cairo. Come on, don't get hurt here. Just don't get hurt, fellas. That is gonna be it. The Seattle Kraken are going to the Stanley Cup Finals in just their first year. Look, they can't believe it. But now they know how it feels for an expansion team to go to the Stanley Cup on them. It fucking sucks. There he goes, right? You fucking beauty. Look at him. The leader, the captain, Ryan gets laugh. We are taking on, I think, the President's Trophy with... Tyson Berry's available to play next game. It's too bad he's not going in the lineup. You can say what you want. Maybe he'd help the team, but just don't think it's possible to just throw him back in the fucking Stanley Cup final like that, dude. But if we need a change, we'll, we'll make something happen. This lineup's been pretty fucking good so far. I think we're playing the best team in the NHL, though. First game, and we lose 6-2. Like... All right, we lost 6-2 back-to-back games. I'm throwing in Tyson Berry here on the point. Jake Bean, you've been great for me all year, but we need Tyson Berry. We really do. An overtime win, so maybe it does something. Maybe it does. We get an overtime win. That's huge. It's a 2-1 series for the Capitals. No! Not Jeff Carter! We're going to throw Beauvillier on the wing. Man, it sucks losing Jeff Carter there. It really does, because he was so good. And we get a 6-1 victory! It is a 2-2 series against the Washington Capitals. This is looking exactly like the Vegas Golden Knights here. Oh my goodness. We have Game 5. This is pivotal. This is fucking huge, fellas. 2-2 series. No, we take a 3-1 L. Jeff Carter's back. Jeff Carter is back. This is big. We get Jeff Carter back in the lineup for tonight's game. He, he's not a little pussy like Tyson Berry. Game six, first period, where the comeback kids, the cardiac killers, the gay imposters, Nick Backstrom. That might be a killer goal there for them. No, and Evgeny Kuznetsov. But Jeff Carter, he's back in the lineup, baby. Jeff fucking Carter on Henrik Lundqvist. They're trying to get Lundqvist his cup. Nick Backstrom again. It's killing us, man. It is killing us. That's center court. Okay, Verona gets one. We got 10 minutes here to get one, fellas. We got 10 minutes. Anthony Sorelli on the power play. Five minutes left. Jordan Cairo did it. Jordan Cairo. Oh, my goodness. A minute left. Don't blow it. We did it. Okay. All right. We are going to game seven. All or nothing. Verona, the trade deadline acquisition has been money for us. Game seven. Here we go. Let's see if we can do it, fellas. Five on four. Verona, the trade deadline acquisition, the former capital. Five on four for Washington. They could not do anything with it. Five minutes left. Oh, man. And Tom, no. Anybody but him. Anybody but him, man. Patrick Hornquist, always there when we need him in Game 7, Mr. Game 7. Third period, Game 7. Five on three. Jakob Vrana! And Vrana again, two power play goals back to back. It is not looking good for the Washington Capitals. Here we are. We're at Capital One Arena for this game against the Washington Capitals. We got a 4-1 lead right now. We just need Darcy Kempner not to have the worst. Dude, if Tom Wilson would have scored again, I probably would have went to Washington and punched him in the face myself. They'd have come up huge. What a shot. What a goal. 34 seconds left. Can Washington push here? Can Washington push to beat us? I'm going to go with no just because I'm biased as fuck, but like, I don't know, man. It was one second, and there we go, Darcy Kemper, the Stanley Cup champions. 
your Seattle Kraken. Hey, don't shake Tom Wilson's hand. Please don't. Nobody shake his hand. Everybody leave him hanging. Nobody wants to shake his hand. Ron, I'm going to receive his Con Smythe Trophy. 35 points, 16 goals, 19 assists, 15 hits, and a plus one. He was great for us during the course of this playoffs. I just, I can't believe we've done it. Yeah, go get your hardware, you bald fuck. Yes. Ryan gets left. Oh my goodness. Go take go take a picture with your trophy, man. You deserve it. You deserve it. I give you a hard time, but that's our hardware, baby. The expansion draft team has done it. So there you go, guys. I mean, I think... I think this just shows how broken the expansion draft is. I mean, we got so many good players. We only traded for two guys. We traded for two guys. We traded for an older guy and a younger guy. Um, for, And we just traded away things we didn't need. Like the first round pick. Like We were such a good team that we didn't need it. You know what I mean? And, and then with Ryan Getzlaff, we had... Uh, I forget who it was, but there was somebody just sitting on our... It was Shane Gostaspear. He really wasn't going to ever play unless we fit him in the lineup but Jake Bean and Brad Hunt did such a good job of that throughout the course of the year so there you guys have it I mean it's very possible for the Seattle team to go win a Stanley Cup um it is very possible for an expansion team to win the Stanley Cup uh, this this honestly was fun for my, for us to come back and reverse sweep the Vegas Golden Knights and then to win two games in a row after being down 3-2 against the best team in the NHL the Capitals I mean, th this was solid. This was this was great. I appreciate you guys for stopping by. This is going to take a fucking minute to edit. I already know. Um, like, subscribe. I love you guys to death. Thank you guys for 4K subscribers, by the way. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.